Chateau furthers the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. The shadow uses his hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so that they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the unseen voice of the shadow belongs. Today's story, Prelude to Terror. Professor Baker, I thought you'd like this cup of hot tea. Oh, yes, yes, thanks. Helps to keep me awake. And I have a lot of work to do tonight. Shall I pour it, sir? Yes, please. Well, isn't this your night off, Cooper? Yes, sir. I passed the house on my way home and saw your lights on. I, I know how you enjoy a late cup of tea. Very considerate of you, Cooper. Very. But it's late, and you must get your rest. Oh, the doorbell. Hmm. I wonder who that could be at this hour of night. Shall I answer it, sir? Yes, Cooper, yes. I'll take care of the tea. All right, all right. Amy, what are you doing here? Cut the gab. Close the door. I know. Braden sent you. Where's old man Baker? Upstairs in his study. Okay. Hey, wait. I won't let you do this. I won't let you hide him. Keep your mouth shut unless you want to go back and finish out that prison time you ran out of. Leave Professor Baker alone. Please. I'm not going to be in on this. I'm getting out. Well, who was the late car? Oh. I I thought it was Cooper. What do you... Uh... Short jumpy tonight, Braden. What you? What are you walking up and down like that for? Something on your mind? Yeah, big things, things you'd never understand. I wonder what's keeping Heaney. Should have been here half an hour ago. Think he might have muffed things, boss? I hope not. There he is now. Open up. Okay, boss. We was just talking about you. Yeah, well, Heaney, what happened? You have any trouble? Ah, uh, not much. I just put two slugs into the old guy, Professor Baker. He's dead. The rest was easy. What about Cooper? Ah, uh, he was scared stiff. He let out. You let him get away? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that guy. He's too scared to talk. You should have put this silencer on him anyway. Well, and you're the boss, Braden. What do you want me to do? Take no chances. Dig Cooper up and close his trap for keeps. Okay, boss. I'll take care of him. You get the stuff I sent you after? Yeah, sure did. Let me have it. And hey, let's see. Hey, get it right inside here. Yep. Here you are, boss. The old professor had it right where you said. Yeah. This is it, all right. What is it, Braden? Looks like an empty bottle to me. It's a colorless, odorless gas. The most powerful explosive in existence. Enough to blow up this whole city. Yeah. This is all there is in the world. Yeah? What are you going to do with it? You'll find out. Hey, hang it, Saul. Yes, boss? What's on your mind? You used to be a chemist, right? Still I am. The best outside the wall. All right, I want you to take this cash out of this little bottle and seal it in that crate of light bulbs I got last night. You think you can do it? I guess so. How much gas to the bulb? Wait, I'll help you. Morgan, Drace, all of you, come here. Well, yeah, what's up, Braden? Yeah. Plenty. <laughs> when we get these explosive light bulbs fixed up, I want you to go out and plant them in light sockets everywhere. In stores, houses, public buildings all over the city. Well, what's the big idea, Braden? I'm going to plunge the city into total darkness for one night. Total darkness? How are you going to make them dance their light? Look, we get these bulbs planted before noon tomorrow. When it gets dark, they'll turn on lights. And some of these places will be blown to bits. Oh, the next night, they won't dare turn on a light. Yeah? Where do we come in? What does that get us? What does it get us, you sap? Don't you see... When the city blacks out, we move in and take over. Wow, that's what I yeah. I've drawn up a chart showing exactly where the explosive bulbs are to be planted. You ain't missed a trick, huh, Brady? This is a big job. Now we'll need plenty of help for the cleanup. Round up every dip, rod man, gangster, any crook you know. 
Have them here in the mill tomorrow night. Okay. Uh, Don't worry, worry, boy. As soon as everything's set, we'll move in under cover of darkness. It's a poor cut. They will be helpless. Yeah. <laughs> we'll rob steel pillage to our heart's content. We'll take everything that's not nailed down. Boy, what a stunt. Well, that's a crook's paradise. Greatest idea I've ever heard. It's the greatest idea in the history of crime. I'm going to create a reign of terror like this country has never known. <laughs> Yes, I don't exactly know what I want. Well, is it a uh, boy or a girl? A girl. I'm her grandmother. Oh, is that so? Well, I have a little girl, too. How old is your granddaughter? Uh, she's just four months old. Oh, well, then you must see our modern nursery. The infant things are all in there. Mm-hmm. Do you come right this way, please? Yeah, so why is it something that's way handbag? Are you step right in? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's rather dark, isn't it? Well, I'll put on more light. It switches. Ah, here we are. Those people. 
That I don't know. There you are, in a blind alley. You have a theory and nothing to support it. Now run along, Cranston. My nerves won't stand any more of this nonsense. You must listen to me, Commissioner. You've got... Now I've got... Hello? Hello, Commissioner Weston. Yes, who's this? Never mind that. I got some dope for you. What do you mean? Those two explosions last night were bad, huh? Well, that's only a little sample of what's coming tonight. What? What did you say? You heard me. You're going to have a worse mess on your hands if you don't carry out my orders. Orders? I want this city in total darkness tonight. Total darkness? If there's an electric light, auto headlamp, or even a flashlight turned on, you're going to get a bouquet of explosions worse than yesterday. You must be stark mad. You'll never get away with this. Try me and see. Either the lights go out or the city goes up. Hello. Hello, hello. Cranston. Did you hear that? Yes, I did, Commissioner. What are we going to do? It'll be dark in a few hours. Commissioner, that man must be stopped. If he's not, this city will be the scene of indescribable horror tonight. We've got to stop him. Explosive light bulbs threaten more blasts. Mystery voice warns Commissioner West. Explosive of electric lamps spread through the city and read all about it. Terrible. We won't have any light. How are we going to see in the dark? I'm not safe tonight. Me neither. I don't want my family to go Operate by candlelight. Oh, that's impossible. The operation's too delicate. Oh, please, Dr. Tori. Help my baby. No. My... Yes, Doctor. I'm going to operate. But, but the light, Doctor. I can't stand here and see this child die. We've got to take the chance. Turn on the lights. But I... Very well, Doctor. I'll turn them on. Lamont. What are people going to do? I'm afraid this is all leading to something worse, Margot. 
A prelude to a greater terror. Lamont, you must do something. I've racked my brain for a solution, some faint clue, and I, I'm stuck. I, I don't know what to do. We just can't sit and wait for some new terror to strike Lamont. There must be some loose thread that might unravel this whole vicious pattern. I, Margot. Yes, Lamont? I've got an idea. Yes? Professor Baker's hired man, Cooper. The police mm-hmm. released him. They said he proved that he was not in the house the night the professor was killed. Yes. It just struck me. The killer's fingerprints were on the handle of the door to the old man's study. But there were none on the knob of the street door. Don't you see it, Margot? Somebody opened the door for the killer. Cooper. Perhaps. But Lamont... Come on, Margot. We've got to find Cooper. The shadow has got to talk to that man. He may be the thread I've hoped for. <laughs> Sure, that's the last candle I have in the house, Mr. Cooper. They're very scarce now. But at least you'll be able to finish your packing. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Kelly. Oh, my, no. I'm not sorry to see you go. But I don't blame anybody for getting out of this cursed city, that yeah. I don't. Yeah, sure. Now, uh, if you don't mind, i got a lot of packing to do. Good oh. night, Mrs. Kelly. Well, it, if that's the way you feel, uh, goodbye and good riddance to you, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your hurry, Cooper? Who's that? What are you running away from? Me? What? Where are you? I can't see you. I'm the Shadow, Cooper. The Shadow? You know of me, don't you? Now listen, Cooper. I've got to talk fast, and so do you. i got nothing to talk about. Cooper, you share responsibility for the death and destruction in this city. No, that's a lie. I, I had nothing to do with it. You know the man who killed Professor Baker. You've got to tell me who he is. I can't, I can't. You must you alone can release the city from the grip of terror that man has placed it in. I don't know anything about it, I tell You're you. You're lying, Cooper. I know. You opened the door for the killer. I, I wouldn't hurt the old man. You were with him just before he died. But I had nothing to do with his death. Honest, I didn't. If you want to save yourself and clear your conscience, you've got to talk. But I... All right. All right, I want to get it off my mind. I'll talk. I'll talk. Um... Amy. Amy, what do you want? Just a living little message from the boss, Cooper. Here it is. Cooper. Speak to me, Cooper. Oh, your throat. Try to talk, Cooper. The fate of the city rests with you. I can't understand you. For heaven's sake, man, you've got to tell me. Look, Cooper, I'll put my ear close to your lips. Try to whisper. Try. Yes, yes, I understood that. Yes, his name, Cooper. His name, please. Yes, sir. What? Uh, sir. Try again. Uh, Where? Uh, Where? Uh, quick, Cooper, quick. What time is I? I thought I heard a shot out here. Look, it's Mr. Cooper. Oh, he's not. Somebody oh, get a doctor, yes, quick. Oh, no. No, no. no. It's, it's no use for a doctor now. Cooper's dead. Hey, Engelstall, bring me that shot. Here you are. Have you checked off every place where we planted bulbs? Every one. They're all marked in red. What are we waiting for, Brendan? Yeah, let's yes, go. Come on. I'm waiting for the boys to come back from the city and give me the lowdown on how things stand. Say, Brendan, how come we got lights with the city power plant chained off? I've been planning this job for over a year. I put in my own power plant. Well, that's smart, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Been yeah but how did you manage the explosion? See this bulb? Well, it was one of these that blew up the Gullens department store. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Don't worry. They're all safe. This won't go off unless it's put in a light socket and the switch is thrown. Well, it's just the same. I, I'd feel better if you didn't uh, wave it around like that. <laughs> Margo, go right over here, off the road. There we are, Lamont. Good. Now, you stay here in the car. Take this gun. It'll be perfectly safe. Just keep out of sight. But where are you going, Lamont? There's an old mill someplace along here. If I understood Cooper correctly, I'll find the man I'm looking for there. You're not going in alone. I've got to, Margot. I phoned Commissioner Weston as the shadow and asked him to send some men. Then why not wait for them? I'm not sure they'll get here. I've got the hands full in the city. There isn't a moment to lose. The shadow's got to work, and work fast. <laughs> Quiet, all of you. Well, boys, what did you find out in the city? Boss, you hit the bullseye. The city's as dark as a landlord's look. Yeah, it's all separate, boys. Sure. All right, boys, we got the green light. 
Time to go. Boy, this will be too quick. Take it, huh? <laughs> Morgan. Yes? You take six men and go to the Macy Street Bank. You know what to do. Yes. Graze. Right, boss. Take 20 men and clean out the Imperial Hotel. Uh-huh. Go through the rooms. Don't leave anything you can carry. Right. You, Engham's tall. The post office. Five men can handle that. I am all set. The rest of you got your spots. Work fast. If anyone crosses you, use your guns. Let them have it. Yeah. I'm doing it. We'll ask them after. Please. All right. All right. Grab your flash lamps and let's go. Uh, hey, what <laughs> Am I hearing things? <laughs> did anybody hear that laugh? Yeah, I did. So did I. Quite a nice little thing you've cooked up, Brayton. But here's where there's another ingredient added to your unholy brew. Hey, what is it? It's the shadow. Right you are, Brayton. Well, you're not scaring me. You're not stopping me either. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Brayton. Hey, I don't see nobody. Men, oh. this guy's right here in the room with us. He's got some trick so we can't see him. But that don't mean we can't get him. Drays, yeah. stand by that door. Okay. Keep your back against it and don't let anybody or anything open it. Now, Morgan, yes. pick up that machine gun and spray the other end of the room. But he's out the light! Hey, I'm getting out of here. Hey. All right, quiet. Hey. Don't be afraid. Take it easy. Somebody switch on that light. <laughs> you don't dare turn on those lights. What do you mean? If you do, every man here will be blown to bits. What are you talking about? I took that explosive bulb you had on the table in front of you. What? When I turned out the light, I put it into one of the light sockets. <laughs> now, Mr. Brayden, do you want to turn on the light? You're bluffing, Shadow. All you have to do to prove that point is to throw on the light switch. Hey, hey, what's that? It's a lot of cars driving up outside. It's the police, gentlemen. They'll never take me alive. Alive or dead, Brayden, you've got to be taken. Hey, what are we going to do? do? What do we do? Come out in ten seconds. I will come in after you. You might as well do as Commissioner Western commands. Walk out the door with your hands in the air. There's nobody walking out of this place. I know I'm Chair Bates. I'll die anyway. But there's one thing I'm going to do first. I'm going to take you along with me, Mr. Shadow. Hey, keep your hands off that switch. Get out of my way. Not a single one, Commissioner. It's all right, Margot. I'm safe. Oh, Lamar, thank heaven. I thought you'd been killed in that explosion. It was close, Margot. But I got out when they were trying to keep Aiden away from the light switch. You go back to the car now, Margot. I'll be with you in a minute. Commissioner Weston. Commissioner Weston. Hello, is that you, Shadow? Yes, Commissioner. Well, we're in a fine jam now. They're all dead. How are we going to find out where the other explosive bulbs are planted? It's all right, Commissioner. I got Brayton's chart showing the location of the explosive. Where is it? You'll find it in the front seat of your car. Then the city is safe. Yes, Commissioner. Good. All right, men. Get in your cars. We've got to gather up those lamps right away. And my gratitude, Shadow, for a job well done. Come, Marco. We're going home. Shadow's work is done for tonight. The reign of terror... Thanks to you, Lamar. It was bound to end this way, Margot. The plots and plans of 